Hi everybody, um, your friend from Sustainable Montessori. Today we have a story, a cool story to tell you. So we're gonna use the fraction box for this story. And this is a story of a particular building. It's like an apartment building. And if you see, we can see it this way, in which we have different families living in the, in the apartment. In this apartment, everybody that lives here have a different house. All the families are in the different house. So we in the basement, we have this family. This family is the host. That's a particular family that when they got together, it can be two, three, or even four hosts in the family. And they all live in the basement because they need the bigger house. Beside them, we have another family. This family are the halves, okay? And again, when they go to the park, sometimes go mom, dad, and the son. So we have the three halves going to the bar. In the next story, we have here the thirds. This is the family of the thirds. So they live in this house. In the next one beside them, we have the fourths. And in the next one, we have the fifths. Finally, in the upper part of the house, we have the smaller families, they are like smaller than it, you see the rest of them. So we have the six, and in the next family, the sevens. In the next building, the eights. Then they have the nines, and finally, the tens. So in this house, when people see each other, they like to start telling the number of people they see of each family, and then the last name of the family. So for example, when um, we have the fifths going outside, maybe to have a walking out. They go outside and they use, they look at them and the rest of them, they say, oh, look, I see four fifths, okay? Because they see four people of the family of the fifths. So what they use first is the number of them. And you know, we have a word in Latin that is called numerator. And numerator means the number of something. So in this case, the number of people of one family they see. And uh, also it comes from Latin, the word denominator. So that means the name, or in this case, the last name of the family. So in this case would be the family of the fifths. So that way we know that a fraction that composed the fraction box, all the families making the fraction box, have a, na a name, in this case the numerator, and a last name, this would be the denominator. So this would be the introduction to this lesson, like an activity, and then what you're gonna do is that you present each one of the members of the family to see how they change. So we have the holes, the halves, the thirds, the fourths, the fifths, the sixths, the seventh, eighths, the ninths, and the tenths. And here you want to want to ask your students, what do you observe in these families? And most of them say, oh, they're getting smaller. So maybe we can predict. How do you think it's going to happen with the eleventh? or the 12s, or the 20s, okay? As an extension, one word they can do is that they can trace all of the families, like in this example, and write down the last names for each one in the family. So here we have an example with the holes, the halves, the thirds, the fourths, and on the other side, they can trace the rest of the members of the family. 